All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Perception Neuron version 2 32 Neuron uh, motion capture suit. And what I'm going to do is just pretty much put it on my body and show you guys how to set it up and how to connect. And then later on, show you guys how to use the captured motion from this device in Unreal Engine 4. So let's go ahead and get started. This is not going to be an unboxing because there's a lot of stuff to unbox. So I'm going to start pulling some stuff out and I'll tell you what it is and then I'll put it on my body. Um, with my microphone, it's going to be a bit of a pain. So pull something out of the box and then I'll figure out what it is. Now, one of the bad things about the system is it's not an actual suit. It's not a one piece suit. As you can see, it's like a web of things and neurons and trackers and you know it looks like a bungee rubber plastic elastic thing so um, if you look right here on the actual body itself it's pretty cool it tells you what that piece is so this one right here is the upper body and then the lower body so let's go ahead and put that on real quick now it looks like a mess right now but after you put it on for the first time and after you start putting some stuff on it's gonna make a lot more it's gonna make sense a little bit more now granted this is one of the cheapest motion capture suits you can get out like uh, you can buy right now so this is definitely one of the reasons why it's because it's pretty crazy as far as putting this on so here now, uh, realistically, you want two people to install this thing. But in my case, I'm by myself right now. So it'll have to do. Okay, so we have the chest strap. We're gonna put the shoulder sensor just on the top of the shoulder blade right there and do the same thing for the other. And then the next part is the lower part, which is the belt part. So. Like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to see some dangling Velcro on the back. Straps in the back that usually goes like in your groin area, but I'm not going to do that for this demonstration. Uh, but basically it just helps the, your uh, suit to not fall down and stuff. But for now, this should be good because I have this microphone and stuff. Try to keep it minimal as possible. Strap it there. All right. And now right here on the left side is your, your arm. Now, the one that came with the Perception Neuron, this part right here was broke. Uh, one of the pins uh, were missing, so Luckily, they give you a spare one in the box, but I went ahead and messaged them anyway. So that's why I'm able to use it still, even with it being broken, because they give you a spare. And you can get everything that they give you separately on their website, which is kind of cool, because as you can see, these things are really fragile. They'll probably break pretty quick if, you don't, if you're not being very careful. Okay, so I should have Another arm somewhere, there it is. If you're familiar with like GoPro chest rigs and stuff, it's pretty similar to that as far as the quality of these things. All right, so now that we have the arms, chest piece and the waist, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the legs. All right, so let's take a look and see what part it is. This one is for the left side. So it's gonna go from the thigh, knee, and then foot. So let's start with the thigh. Now I'm not wearing any shoes because to be honest, I'm inside and I don't want it to get dirty. It gets dirty pretty quick. So this is for the thigh. Tighten it up. And this is for the leg or kneecap. And it's so much easier to slip on if you're not wearing any shoes. If you're indoors, I don't see why, you know, you would need to wear a shoe anyway. And then lastly, the foot area, put it like that. Now make sure the sensor is pointing up 
Same way here, because obviously you don't want to step on it. So that's that. Now we're gonna put on the other side. Make sure this is right. I actually got it wrong the first time around because I was an idiot. So make sure you're looking at the sides because if not, it's gonna look crazy. All right, same thing here. And like I said, it only looked crazy in the beginning, but after you start putting it on, it's not so bad. Okay, but now you can see that there's a lot of wires dangling around. So we're gonna connect that in a second. But we're gonna take a look at the glove options. So you have two options as far as the glove or the hands and the lower arm goes. You can either go with no fingers or wood fingers, it comes with both. So if you don't need the five fingers, you can use this, but if you want fingers, you can use this type right here. Now, Perception Neuron is probably one of the cheapest motion capture suit you can get with fingers. So that's one of the freaking pros about it, right? So we're gonna go with, with fingers. So I'm gonna put that away. And I'm not gonna put it on just yet because I still have to move my mouse around. So you gotta be careful with using these around appliances and every, you know, anything magnetic because it might get really bad, All right? And this is the box that the neurons come with. As you can see, I have two spare ones. Okay, so since I'm gonna be running this wirelessly, I do have a battery pack that I use for my cell phone to power this on. So you have this and then the cable comes with it. Put that to the side for now. And this is your data cable that comes with it as well and you have your hub or your brain. So, uh, before I put this on my waist, let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna do next. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is start plugging some stuff in. So, I'm not gonna do my hands yet because I still need my hands. So what I'm gonna do is take a look at this first one right here. This one right here, from the thigh, from the left thigh, I'm gonna connect to my left side. So make sure you hear that snap. Okay, that one's already connected. Right thigh, I'm gonna connect to the right side. Right waist. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the head on, but I'm not gonna connect it just yet. So this is the head. Put it on. Okay. Okay, so now I have the full suit on without the arms and the gloves pretty much. I'm gonna take my bracelet off because it is metal. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is actually uh, go to the software and connect it to Wi-Fi because that's how I wanna do it. So I have a wireless mouse here. Okay guys, so now we're gonna be in the software and basically what you wanna do is um, plug the Neuron Hub with the cable and plug it in your computer. So you're gonna plug this one, and it's gonna be data right there. Plug it on the side. It should beep. There you go. Now I already had it connected, but we're gonna start from scratch. So press setup, next, and it's gonna look for all the SSIDs around the area. Now, for right now, the Perception Neuron version 2 can only connect to 2.4 gigahertz of Wi-Fi, so 5 gigahertz will not work. So let's go ahead and go with this, and then we're gonna type the password in. Justin Bieber's birthday. All right, now it says, unplug the USB cable and link your hub with a USB power pack. Okay, so now the power pack comes into play. We're gonna have this, I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Okay, and this is a really long cable. I honestly don't need it this long. So it says unplug it, and then plug the battery on. 
and it says you should hear a long beep in 20 seconds. There it is. Press finish. All right, so now the Wi-Fi is connected. All right, so I had to move the mic just a little bit, but basically what we want to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and connect the head with a cable on the back. Pop it open, pop it on. Should there snap, there you go. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the hands. It has the side, this is the right side. Now this actually works for the hands and the wrist as well. Now do remember that one of the index fingers will not need a neuron in it, so it's gonna be empty. Okay, so just keep that in mind, I didn't know that. So after that, put the other side on. Now you want the neurons on the second to last bone on your finger. Now I, had a, I got a small and my hands are still really, it's still not fitting, so. So one of the bad part about having this suit is everything is Velcro. You can see that when I'm adjusting stuff, it's just sticking everywhere. Okay. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pogo from the waist and connect it to the hub. There you go. And then the upper arm to the lower arm slash hands. And you're gonna see stuff's gonna, you know, it's gonna start lighting up there. That tells you like there's power, right? See, so look at this, this is Vel Velcro. It's hitting my fingers. Okay, take the lower arm again, shoulder, and we put it right here. That snap. And this one is really high. It should be in the back. Not on your actual sh shoulder. It has to be on the top of the bone. So I just gonna make sure that that's good. All right, so now I'm lighting up everywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the software and see if we can connect. Press connect and it's gonna scan for my suit. And as you can see on the software, it is all jacked up, but that's okay. We gotta calibrate it anyways. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your default body size. Uh, the smallest one they have is a male 160. So that's okay, press okay. And then what we're gonna do now is calibrate. Let's do an A pose. T pose. Pay attention to your fingers when you're doing a T pose. All right, and you do a squat. Okay, so now everything should look good. See me moving around and stuff. Okay, so a couple of settings we're gonna change uh, in the par uh, parameters. The guy from Noitom said set both of these to 0.65. .65 because I was having problems with my foot. All right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I have a uh, whatever Nerf gun here and I'm gonna try and see if I can motion capture this and then put it on Unreal Engine. Now I'm using a prop because I tried using it with my hand alone it did not work really well. So that's why we have a prop. Put that on. Okay, so as you can see on the right side of the screen there, everything is green, except for the index finger that I told you guys about. So all of my hands are working right. Like this, do some jumping jacks. Uh, it's a little bit slower on the dab, but my router is all the way to, but the router that I'm connected to is pretty far away, uh, but you can get it wired if you want. I just don't have a long USB cable for that. So maybe that's why I'm getting some lag. So looks pretty good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the audio 
and then do some motion capture with the gun, and then um, we'll see what happens.